ladies and gentlemen, if everyone will please gather down here in front of the show, we're going to have a free show. We're going to bring some of the strange people out here so you can see them and have them perform for you. So everyone, please gather right down here. Right down in close to the platform, please, and let the children right up front. Here you're going to be entertained. just graduated and um, there was a um, a rash of parties that would happen in one part of the city and then move to another part and then move to another part and it, it got to a point that the parties were so um, interesting that we wanted to start even making our own music so that's how uh, things like you know Cybertron came about and uh, you know, the early, really early techno, you know, there were records um, that were released that, you know, only were heard in Detroit, re really techno-oriented type records. And um, and then, you know, the party scene kind of faded away and then the music stayed. So that's where Detroit uh, sound comes from. Up until like 90, 90, they, they kind of died away. Uh, it. You know, the parties progressed into a more, you know, an older situation. And then that's where Derek Wan and Kevin came in. And uh, they went to, you know, they came here to Europe and then they came back. And then somehow it got all mixed up, uh, you know, then Underground Resistance and then Plus 8. And, you know, it, it kind of happened in waves, the whole Detroit thing. So, you know, there weren't that, that many people in Detroit at, at that time and uh, you know there were only a handful of people make, making the music you know so and then because I had the radio show I was in contact with all of them you know and, and vice versa so yeah I seen the whole thing you know before um, inner city before everything you know we all knew each other because we were DJs and parties and that type of thing 
No. Um, well, you know, like I said, there were there were there were different different um, uh, like a DJ outfits. Uh, uh, there was one called Deep Space that was Derek and Juan and a couple of other guys, and then there was another one called uh, Sound Wave that was a couple of other DJs, and then I was in a group called Frequency Sound System, and we would like kind of battle each other, you know, through these parties. And that's that's where you know it all kind of came, you know. And then one DJ group made a record, and then the other one made a record, and so forth and so on. And that's how it all started. Detroit is a pretty, it's you know, even though it's in the center of the United States, kind of north, it's it's very isolated. Um, we don't get too much information from New York, a little bit from Chicago. Um, so. You know, we, we didn't really know, you know, um, you know what we were doing. Even you know, with Underground Resistance, we didn't know what we were doing until the, you know, the fifth the fifth release. You know, we were just making the music, and they were going. If people were buying them, if they were dancing to it, you know, we didn't know. So it was that it was that same um, you know mentality that happened in the early days. You know, we didn't know that we were doing anything different. We just thought uh, you know we were making music. Detroit is, 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 you know, basically a, it was an industrial, uh, you know, town. Lots of factories and cars and that, that type of thing. Um, blue, blue collar, not too much white, white collar, uh, you know. So the mentality, I think, I think is, is kind of similar in some things. But, but they're two entirely different places. Um, the connection between the two cities, um, Goes goes back to when I first went to, to 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 Berlin. I met friends, and then we kept in touch. And then Blake and more people came over, and that's how the relationship started with Berlin. At the time, there there was um, um, a goal to take this techno thing to a to a certain limit. I mean, they they had uh, you know big raves planned in Central Park and. On the on the pier and it's just monstrous million dollar um, you know raids par parties and uh, there was a constant race between the people from from uh, Brooklyn you know um, you know Frankie Bones and what they were doing and then the, the Manhattan you know organizers and I, I just I just kind of seen that it was it was going to a point where it couldn't go any further you know you could you couldn't put any more money into it you couldn't you couldn't make it as you know and uh, what would happen was that it would, it would burn out. People would get t tired of it because there was nothing new. So before that happened, you know, you know I love the music too much, so I decided to just leave. And I always wanted to, to, to go to Chicago, so, I, so that was my opportunity, so I just left. And uh, that's exactly what happened. They, they kind of, you know, burned out. Of it. Very hard, very, very fast. And every week was a different act. It was, you know, Holy Noise to, you know, T, you know, T99 to, um, you know, every week it was somebody. Uh, Rotterdam, you know, uh, it was just, you know, you know, the pace was just you know, too fast. Because I'm from Detroit, a smaller town. And, uh, you know, I wasn't quite, quite used to, you know, New York, you know, you know, so... But it was, it was a good move, I, 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 I think. When I moved to New York and I left Underground Resistance, I had the opportunity to start another label. So that, you know, that was where I, I started Access. You know, I, I had free time, so I, I started another label. And um, you know, the purpose of the label is is uh, very very simple. It's, it's just uh, it's, it's more of an Awareness um, to, to, to 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 shed a light on a on a, on a certain situation from a different perspective. Um, so each release is different, and um, you know we try to um, title the tracks and title the you know the EP and the, or the album specifically to what we're you know trying to say and and, and so forth. Almost like an X project. X101, X102, X103, really con, you know, conceptual um, releases. So it's you know, it's not it's not a complex, you know, 
thing axis. I, I just mastered uh, a couple of new releases from you know from Axis, um, but I'm not sure if I'll release them though. You know, um, actually I don't know. I don't know. I have to go to Japan in October, so I want to wait until I come back from there, and then and then uh, release it. I, I, I have a feeling I'll you know I'll get some influence, you know, when I you know, when I return. So so I much rather just wait. Be, before uh, we approach to you know to make a release for, for Axis, they, you know there has to be an idea. You know, there has to be a, you know a concept. And um, you know we we just we just departed from the you know this minimal minimal nation you know cycle thirty type thing, and uh, I think you know the next next phase is is kind of trying to create a certain feel not through the music, but um, if you listen to the music in you know indirectly. In other words, you don't listen to the particular sounds like like a drum machine to a, a string line, but just as a a whole, you know what type of feel would, you know, would it be? So so right now we're kind of going through an experimental stage. That's why I'm not quite sure uh, when something will come out and and what because we're, we're kind of experimenting. And um, you know we both, you know Robert and I bought like a, a lot of new interactive equipment, so we're kind of testing with it now and, and um, seeing what we come up with. Names of the No. <laughs> it's just, you know, some, some very new, um, you know, equipment. And um, it takes it takes time to, to experiment. Months, you know, before we come up with something different. Yeah. So. so, a release a month or, or every other month not, it's not uh, you know, the formula that you know we have. It's whenever we have an idea. If I don't have an idea for for the next year, then you know, there won't be an access release for one year. You know, I just get a part-time job or something. Yeah. You know, so.
Thank you.